Compared to Austin, people experiencing homelessness in Hayes County can be hard to find and difficult to count. Despite that, the annual point in time count shows homeless numbers have been steadily increasing over the past five years. In 2020, Hayes County did its first survey and counted 102 people without housing. This year, that number doubled to 210. We know from just from sight, being around, seeing who's around, um, that the homeless population here in, Sarah, in Hayes County is growing. Um, the the pick count, the point in time count, did reflect that. Um, so it reflected a reflected a growth in those numbers. It also reflected our better ability for us to find the people on a certain day and time. The survey shows that the homeless population is not just growing in San Marcos. It's a countywide problem that may have people sleeping in cars in Dripping Springs and Buda and living in encampments near Kyle. It's taken a while because, because it's, it seemed to be a St. Marcos centric problem. It's taken a while for us to start to get county, the counties and other cities on board um, with us. Um, but I think that's, it's coming. There's some, been some great growth in those areas over the last year. One of the biggest issues is finding and helping teenagers who can go unnoticed as they couch surf or find a place to sleep in businesses where they work. They're having a hard time going to school because they have to earn that living uh, in order to pay for their day-to-day -day needs. And so they're in the workforce, yet they're still trying to attend high school. Mental illness, domestic violence, and substance abuse are some of the contributing factors to Hayes County's growing homeless population. The next step is to get more participation in roundtable sessions with county leadership. I am going to take an active role in making sure that we are bringing everyone to the table to make sure that we don't make things worse. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.